This might be one of the best lighting kits from Gobi that I've seen. Come with me folks, I'll show you why. So this is the Govi Curtain Light, which is a 520 pixel canvas with over 80 themes and customized GIF animations. It's an IP65 waterproof rating, so can be used outdoors. We're greeted with this card, which shows us a few of the images that we may display. Quick disclaimer here, this was sent out by Govi for review, but that does not affect my thoughts or opinions. This is also compatible with Dreamview and some other Govi products you may have around the house. It comes in three individual packages boxes in big box number one we have the curtain light itself it's well presented and i think govi have actually done a good job here this must have been difficult to package we lift this tray out and this reveals the hanging section the excess cables controller and power lead it feels quite heavy so it will need hanging properly luckily govi have given us several options here it consists of 520 of these rgb beads which are each on a strand each of these strands make a canvas the size of 1.5 by 2 meters this gives us a resolution of around 20 by 26 which doesn't actually sound too great but in the right scenarios and use cases it can be very effective and it looks very good this is the hanging section and then we have some excess cable here nice to see that we've got some excess cable for cable management that will be very helpful the Govi controller is a basic controller, it just has the microphone and the power button, but it does still contain the 3M sticky tape, so it can still be stuck up nice and neatly. The power supply is also slightly unique in this case. I haven't come across one of these power supplies with Govi before now, but it is keyed, so you can't get this wrong nice and simple. In box number two, we get all of the mounting equipment. Govi even included the screwdriver here, which was very helpful. We get three mounting types, nailing hooks, 3M tape, and the curtain hooks. In box number three, we get the power supply. As discussed, this is slightly unique. This is slightly different to typical Govi power supplies, but I think that's because it's also used for outdoors. Though this curtain light does have an IP65 weatherproof rating, I would still recommend keeping the power supply indoors if possible. This is how the strip should look once you've got it all out of the packaging. We're gonna go ahead and fit it now. We can use any of the three options included. I'm gonna use the nail type, but you do have these curtain hangers if you wanna use those as well. I'm gonna run my curtain light above my Govi M1 strip. When you've got it up on the wall, it should look something like this. And then we'll talk about orientation in a moment. If you don't already have the Govi application installed, you can scan the QR code on the back of the box or you can search for it in the Google and Apple stores. Once you've installed the Govi application, go ahead and open this up. Any other devices you have connected will show up here, but we're gonna press add new device. The Govi curtain light shows up right away and then we're gonna need to press the power button on and off so we can pair to our device. Like I said earlier, we can mount this if we prefer. Once it's paired up, press done, and then you wanna confirm the orientation. So this is asking you which side your power supply is. Is it on the left or on the right hand side of the curtain light? It doesn't matter, you can rotate them either way, but you can only rotate them left and right. Okay then, everything looks good here with us, so we can go straight to testing. We're gonna test the music and Google modes first. Okay, turn on smart curtain light. Okay, turn on all lights. Sure, turning on six lights. Okay, turn off all lights. All right, turning six lights off. Okay, turn on all lights. Okay, turning six lights on.
We can adjust a few options here. We can come on to Meteor. Meteor is pretty cool. We can also change between our devices so we can select the microphone from the controller or we can use the microphone on our smart device. You can change the sensitivity. This is with the sensitivity down to 25%. This is the sensitivity at around 50%. This is with the sensitivity at around 75%. And this is the sensitivity at 100%. What I like about these though, is you can customize these each individually. You can press the little pen icon on each of the modes. And in this little options here, we get again, a sensitivity bar, but we get a direction bar, which is pretty cool. So you can change the direction of the meteors. We'll just though put it back for now. And you can also change the colors. Okay, let's see if we can add some completely different colors, some yellows and greens or something. We'll add greens, okay. So now we should be seeing some greens in there, hopefully. Yeah, so we have, we've got some greens and stuff. So you can do that with all of the colors and you can change each of them. And again, you can change the direction. Then if we come on to the second setting, this is crossing, this is a little starry effect. Looks pretty cool. This is my favorite dream color. This is absolutely awesome, very responsive. Again, you can customize this. It's really cool this one because you can select circular shapes on their own like this. You can select rectangular shapes on their own like that. You can select diamond shapes on their own. Or if you wanna get really posh, you can activate all of them at the same time and apply that. And then it will just give you all different random shapes as you go. Really cool. You can change the color schemes. I really like this one. The next one we've got is floating mist. This one is pretty basic really, it's like a rainbow effect. It's like an outbound square. If we come into the edit here, we've got loads of options. You can change the effect point where it starts from. So now it's starting from the top right corner. We'll change it to the top center. So now it should come from top center. Let's change that to all four corners coming into the middle. So now it should come from all four corners. Then we've got Spectrum. I really like this one. This one looks really cool with some of the beats and stuff like that. Again, you can go in there and customize all these. We can customize the directions, having it up or downwards. We can have a colorful effect or we can turn the colorful effect off. Then it will just give us a different color. You can change these and you can change the orientation. The color mode is very basic. You do have a finger sketch segment here, but I'll talk more on the finger sketch when we get to the DIY segment. Some of my favorites then are the starfish. I really like the sunset. I like the bubbles. The moon looks really cool. Sea Island looks really cool. And then Mountain Top. If we come over to the next segment, we've got some Love Hearts. They look really good and effective. They would be excellent for Valentine's Day and things like that. The Easter Eggs, again, they look really vibrant and good. Countdown, this is really cool. New Year's Eve and parties. And if we come over to the next tab, we've got some flames. This looks really good in the dream view. I'll show you that in a moment. We've got an umbrella. The telephone looks pretty cool. Piggy bank. The lottery machine. Tic-tac-toe. Noughts and crosses if you're from the UK. The maze is really cool as well. This is a really good one. This one reminds me of childhood. I used to have one of these 
Little Rolling Roads as a child and I used to love this game. I used to play it all the time. So this is a really cool effect as well. I was really pleased when I saw this one. Then we've got Pac-Man. Everybody knows Pac-Man. We've got Rocket. Elon Musk will be proud, I'm sure. The Greedy Snake is really cool. This little greedy snake goes around eating up all the lights and it gets bigger and faster as he goes. Then we have some animals. The jellyfish looks really cool. The clownfish is one of my all time favorites. I really enjoy this one as well. And this one is called the fishing cat. On the final tab, this is part of the recent Govi update. We've got five new scenes here. I'll quickly show you these ones. This one's called Forest Flies. This one's called Space. This one's Camping. This one is Lighthouse. And finally, Spacewalk. There's some of my favorites. If we come over to the DIY tab, this is where it gets really interesting because we can do everything from finger sketches, our own paintings, or GIFs. Now, you can use any of the four GIFs that are already here. We have the smiley face with the sunglasses. We have the skateboarding chicken. We have the jumping chicken. and the anime cat. Now you can only add one gif of your own at a time here and you do need to remove this to add any others. You'll need to go online and search for gifs but here's a few that we found. This Mario one here, the animation is fine and we can tell that it's Mario but if you look at the colours they're not quite right in my opinion and we can't customise or edit these either. This is a gif issue though, it's not a problem with the curtain lights colour grading. The second one we tried is this waddling duck. This one looks pretty cool. And you can also get GIFs from the Govi application. If you come to the Explore tab, you can see that the community have created some of their own GIFs and shared them. You can like and comment and also apply these GIFs to your curtain light yourself. I'm going to show you a couple of examples. Firstly, we've got this swirly one here. Then we've got some autumn leaves. Finally for this segment we have the Among Us character. But you can like and share, you can save these and there are loads more so I recommend exploring these for yourself. When we click on the finger sketch tab we can add up to 5 of these Govi canvases. This was recently updated from 3 but you can now add and delete them very easily. 5 of these canvases together as one giant display would look absolutely incredible in my opinion. I would really like to see that. I will speed up and edit this footage so that you guys don't have to endure my learning process but I just recommend that you play around with all of this yourself so that you're familiar with the application and all of its features. Just to give you a brief outline though, we've got a rubber and the pen tool. You can also select different colors from the color palette. So for example, I'm adding some red, yellows and oranges to the bottom of this plane slash rocket. Try and give it some flame effects something like that but you can tweak and play with all of this like i said i recommend you get familiar with it so you know how to use it correctly once you've finished your sketch you want to press preview this will give you a demo of what it should look like you can also change the relative brightness and the background brightness and the foreground brightness and if you scroll down you've got plenty of settings here so you can add animations to this so you can keep it moving across the canvas. You can also change the speed and the angle of the movement. I really really enjoy these. You have to forgive me for my poor drawing skills here but I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to do a far better job than what I did. 
You can also write messages and save them and put them as presets so you can reselect them at any time, such as this subscribe banner that I've made here, and you can save as many as you like. So the finger paint and text both work pretty much similarly. You can select colors, delete, rub out, change. You can also change the brightness and things like that. It's loads of fun and so many settings, I just literally couldn't go through them all. Okay, finally then, let's take a quick look at the dream view and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. To get to the dream view, you want to press the home tab and scroll down and select one of the dream view options. You can also adjust which devices are connected. I'm not going to go through them all, there's far too many, but I'm just going to show you some of the basic dream view modes. This one's called sprinkle. This one is thunderstorm. I really like this one. And we've got starry skies. Bonfire. This looks really cool. We've got soothing. Joyful and mysterious. Finally, we've got festival, Halloween and Christmas. There's also the music dream view tab, which is very, very responsive. Again, there's loads of customizable options here, but I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm just going to show you a couple of my favorites. Brilliant being the most prominent that stands out to me, but there are loads here that you can choose from. And there are loads of other modes that you can play with, like these wave effects and things like that. Guys, it is absolutely incredible in my opinion. Let's move on to my final thoughts then. After experimenting and using this curtain light for over a week now, I really, really like it. Now, it has some limitations as far as display is concerned, but there isn't anything else like it on the market that I know of. There is a twinkly light version, but that can't even be compared. This is absolutely incredible in all aspects, in my opinion. One thing I've noticed is the further back from the curtain light that you are, the better the image quality looks. I also tested this out with a black canvas behind it to see if that give us any benefits. I don't think it really makes much difference what color the background is, but it does look decent, both white and black backgrounds. In regards to mounting, I would be a little concerned with the 3M sticky tabs, although I didn't actually try those. I do feel like the light may be a little bit too heavy for those unless you used several of them or give them some extra support. I've used the nail type, but there is a curtain hook included, so they can go onto curtain rails. These lights are currently priced at £140 in the UK. Now, would I like to spend £140 on a set of curtain lights that are more novelty? Not really, I would really like to see the price at around £100-£120, but I think they're still in the fair price range for what they are and what they can do. All sorts of animations, mini games and customizations to play with. Guys, I can highly recommend these, a massive GG's from Govi. If you found any part of this video helpful or informative at all, or just enjoy supporting small creators like me, please consider leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel with your notifications on, that way you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you guys for being here, I really do appreciate that, and until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.